Let's see what happens when I change the calculation. Let's change uh, this thickness, this T parameter, from 5 to 10. You can see that XLC has automatically updated some of the equations because their display is required to change. This numeric uh, display uh, of equation is required to update because the values, the numeric values of the cell has changed. But I didn't change any cell formulae because um, the, the, the cell formulae haven't changed therefore the equation hasn't changed. If I was to make a change then uh, let's make a change to something a bit more interesting here. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get this one wrong. Okay, this is clearly incorrect, and I think it probably shows uh, why XLC is useful. I've taken this formula from uh, a book of uh, engineering formulas, but it's very easy when you're uh, editing equations or uh, formulas that look like this to make a mistake. But it's easy to spot where you've made a mistake when you display the equation. Let me show just uh, one more thing about XLC. Let's introduce. Let's redraw all the equations, but this time, uh, with the little plus symbol here indicates that I'm going to add an equation number. Okay, so you can see how it numbers. It numbers from left to right and from top of the page down to the bottom of the page. But often uh, numbers are quite useful if you're talking over the phone to somebody about a calculation. It's quite useful to be able to direct them towards uh, an equation that you might be discussing. I hope you can see that there's lots of tools here to help you make calculations in Excel.